Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm just showing you how I do my hair. I'm on vacation right here. We're in the lovely Punta Cana in DR. And I'm just getting ready for dinner. So what I'm doing right here is I just have drenched my hair and conditioner. I just washed my hair, conditioned it, and I leave a lot of conditioner in my hair. Because you know, I was in the pool, I was in the ocean, so I just want to make sure it stays hydrated. While that conditioner is in my hair, I'm just detangling with my fingers. I don't start with a comb, I always use my fingers first. And if I feel like I need a comb afterwards, then I go ahead and use it. But for the most part, I just use my fingers. I'm going in with this vitamin C serum that I got from Costco, and it's amazing. Those are my foundations that I mix. One's lighter, one's darker. Um, I use my Lancome. I love it, and uh, I think the other one was, I forget, I showed you there, but it's new, but it, I just use it because it's lighter, so then I get that perfect color. I don't really have a tan here yet, <laughs> I'm sure by the end of the trip I'll be using the darker one alone. So I basically just use my powder, and then this is my MAC concealer, so I'm just doing a little bit of concealer and highlight. I've used this forever. Here I'm just spot concealing. This is my NYX contour stick. I actually got this from the drugstore and I really like it. It's super easy to use. One side's a highlight, but I don't really I actually don't use that side at all. I don't know. I don't know. There's something about it that's not really my thing, but I love the uh, contour color. So just blending it in with my Morphe brush. And make sure you don't forget that area, like right under your jawline and by your ear. I know a lot of us tend to forget that spot. Make sure you push it into your hairline. So this is my Laura Mercier powder. So I'm using my huge Morphe brush. Sorry, I don't remember the name of it. And I'm just setting everything. This is my, Choc what is it called? Choc de Soleil bronzer. I've been using it forever. I really like it. Just give me more of a sun kissed glow. NARS blush. I love this blush. It is so pretty. Just take that all the way up. And of course my highlight is my Fenty. Just gonna go across my nose and then down the bridge of my nose. Inner corner of my eyes. Just give it a pop and a little bit over my lip. Uh, this is also from the drugstore. I really like this pencil. It's just super easy to use. One side is fully and then the other side is like a roll-up pencil and I think it's in the shade dark brown. I really like these. And yeah, I'm just going over with this fully and my eyebrow gel, of course. To fix my brows and give me more of like a polished look. I have very unruly eyebrows, so I need the gel. I'm going in with my Max Molder. I just do a bit on like the corners and up at the top and then I smudge it out. Just do like a kitten flick with the brush. And here I'm using my MAC lip and liner combo. The liner is stone. It's literally my favorite. I think it goes with most lipstick shades that I use and I love it. And the color, this is one that I've had forever but I'm pretty sure it's the Ariana Grande uh, lipstick. Yeah, it's, I've had it forever. It's really bright as you can see, but I'm gonna blot it out and it'll be fine. And here I'm just using the liner to kind of contour my lips, just kind of shading in the corners. And of course applying my magnetic lashes to finish up the look. What I did, this is actually a wig. I sew down the wig. So what I do is I just have a little bit of leave out here and then I put a, like I basically braid it around the perimeter, like going around and have, like I have a few going around and then the rest are just going down and then I sew all my ends up kind of like a sew in and then I just sew the wig onto the weave so I sewed it like around I'm oh, sorry I sewed the wig onto my braid so I sewed all the way around and I usually sew like in between my tracks okay sorry my camera died yeah so usually like I sew around and then in between the tracks just to make sure it's like like gonna stay put and I even brought my little Red, but I haven't had a chance to do it and I, I think it's fine. I basically just shampooed my hair with whatever shampoo so that like I just used the hotel shampoo. For the conditioner I use Aussie conditioner. I love this conditioner and yeah it's actually really really good if you haven't tried this you should try it. And it 
it smells really good too what i do is i just finger comb like you guys saw in the video like if i really have to i'll use something like this this is like the beachy hair that i have on my site um you all you have to do is finger comb it it dries beautifully it doesn't get tangled or anything like that like i always go on vacation with it and i go in the ocean i go in the pool i don't have to tie it up i go to bed with it up if you go in the ocean because like with the salt water and then like your hair just kind of going up i don't know it kind of gets like kind of tangled back here but it's nothing major i just kind of just like i said i put in the conditioner and then i just finger comb with my i just finger comb through it and it's gonna dry beautifully like I said, it doesn't need much. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go for the wet look since my hair's already wet. It's the easiest thing for a vacation. So I have my clear eco gel and then for my edges, what I did was, oh, I don't know what it's called. Shoot, I forget what it's called. I took some and I put it in this empty, I had this empty tachet container. I put some of the edge gel in this. This is the best edge gel ever and I forget the name. I'll try to link it below. By the time I post this video, I should be back home. So all I do is basically put a ton of gel in and yeah. When I wash out the conditioner, I only wash out a little bit. So I leave, I try to leave in like a lot of the conditioner in the hair just to, you know, keep it moisturized. I just go in the gel and you don't need a lot. Just need a little bit. Let's see the end. <laughs> And this is perfect for that wet look. It honestly just stays like this. Like I said, I have my leave out. And then all I do is just kind of part it on the sides where the lace is. This is um, a 13 by four closure. I just leave my hair like this for the whole vacation. Normally I'm like take it out and like, you know, style it different, but I forgot my curling iron. as possible oops some of my hair is still out i really don't want any of my hair out here because it's just gonna well i didn't perm my hair that well so the little hairs in the front are still kind of like they're not straight I really have to do this, otherwise it just looks, doesn't look good. Hair is done, makeup is done. I already know what I'm wearing. My shoes, I'm not 100% sure what shoes I should wear. I always use these for my perfume when I travel. Um, it's so easy to use. See the bottom of there's like a little hole thing? So you put that on top of, you take off the, t the tip of your perfume bottle and then you put this on top and then you, you press down and it pumps into this. As you can see, like it shows. And that way you don't have to carry the full bottle around. Okay, there's something about my eyes or something. I don't know, maybe because I'm wearing lashes and I normally don't wear lashes. But anyways, I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. Okay guys, this is the dress that I am gonna wear. It's just like a cute, flowy, floral moment. It laces up in the back. This dress is sick. Heels. Heel with a sticker on the bottom. These are definitely more comfortable than the stilettos and they lace up. I'm gonna wear it with my new Chanel bag and I'm not sure what accessories I'm gonna wear with it, so we're gonna figure that out. So I'll be back inside. Okay, this is my finished look. 